All right. So the first thing that you're going to do is up here, you're going to introduce your characters. So you got your main character already. So who is, whoever your main character is, you're going to just write their name. Yep. So this is... Can I do myself? Wait, do you write the person too? I don't want to yeah, You're just writing her name. You don't have to write anything about him. How do you draw a dog? Can we write the body? Or like the thing that it is? Oh, I did. Oh, I did draw oh, a dog. Oh. That's what my name is, guys. Stories. Yes. No? Yeah. Mm. No, that one. Can I person? Okay, so this is Molly. This is Molly's dog, Simon. I don't have a dog. I don't have any pet. You don't need to have a dog. Maybe you could put like a basketball with yours. Okay. Okay. So, and then who, who else is going to be important to your story? You're going to need at least a couple more people, right? Yeah. So I'm going to have um, Molly's mom. Oh, I'm going to have Max, Sam, and Molly's dad. I'm going to do like this and draw. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have Joe, the dog. It's so actually like Joe here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Joe too. The mom and the dad. Who is and this babies. copying me? Okay. So in this one, we're putting our characters. I know, but do we have to draw like the person like that? Or no? I'm just drawing their name. All right, so you have your characters. Now in this one, we're going to put the setting. How much characters do you have to have? I would say at least three characters. I have three. I have Sam, Max, and Joe. I have five. Okay. Wait, have All right. So this one, we're going to be putting the setting. So my setting is Molly's house. Now, this is how I'm using I'm having you use this particular thing, but you can use this particular um, thing in a lot of different ways. Um, but Molly's house is where this takes place. But it's also going to take place at school. Mine's going to be in a pasture and a barrel. Mm. Mine's going to be a basket. Okay, so you're drawing symbols to show where the setting of your story is. House. And... How do all right, and then we need to do the problem. So I added the teacher here. So the problem is that Molly needs to do a report, but she doesn't know what to do it on. Okay, so my problem is Molly has to do a report. She doesn't know what to do it on. She doesn't want to write it. Okay, so there's my problem. There, ha there does have to be a problem because otherwise you don't have a story, right? That's one of the things that make it a story. Here, Blake. One of the things that make it a story is I'm that it has a problem, this way now. right? I just thought of a new thing. So let's see, saddle broke, and then her mom just bought her a new toothpaste. <laughs> now these are going to be tries to solve the problem. Okay, so this is going to be attempt number one. The first thing that she tries to do, this is going to be attempt number two, the second thing that she attempts to do. And then this is going to be the one that works. Okay, it's not always the third attempt that is successful in a story, but for the purpose of ours, you need to have at least two attempts that are unsuccessful 
and one attempt that is successful. That's for our story. That is what you need to do. Oh, this is gonna cause me problems. Okay, and then down here you're going to put the resolution. So I'm gonna give you time to work on this tomorrow as well. Okay, but this is where we're going to sketch how the problem is solved. Okay, so you have a little bit of time to work on that. And I will give you some time to work on it tomorrow as well. Okay? Not okay.